watch something called Bella Vita the movie. And uh, you can find that on modernmana.org. And I uh, highly recommend watching that because uh, it, it's, uh, it's very moving. And when I watched that, I thought, well, gee, this place might help me. Because not just, I could see not just physical healing here, I could see spiritual healing. And in the last several years, I've sort of, I don't know if you'd say backslid, but I've become just a pew warmer in church. So I came here for two reasons. Uh, I felt that I was giving God the opportunity to heal me, both physically and spiritually. And uh, I just, I'm just so thrilled to be here and, and all the, all the other guests here, it's just, it's like we were put together. Uh, everyone is just so friendly and, and like uh, someone else said, we all have different issues. First five days, you really don't eat anything. You do a lot of drinking things, but you're never hungry. And, and the amount of energy that I had was probably more than I've had for a long time. And, uh, and then we got the eating, what I call fine food. <laughs> and it was all raw. And it's just amazing how delicious and how wonderful a completely raw meal can be. Uh, I have trouble walking, but the first, first day we went for a walk, I walked a mile and a half. And I uh, texted my wife and told her how far I walked, and uh, her comment was, wow. <laughs> and, uh, and the second day I walked two miles. And, uh, but then Danny put me on a bicycle, and after the bicycle, I uh, I was I was uh, doing eight miles on a bicycle, which is I haven't ridden a bicycle for two years, and with my weak legs, they've got weak in the last couple of years. Uh, I was amazed I, I was able to do that, and uh, and then the earthing. Somebody else mentioned the earthing. I never heard of earthing before, walking in the bare feet, but he showed us a movie called Grounded. Uh, and in that movie, there was people that just got completely bare and touched the ground and laid on the ground. And so the one day I went out under the cherry tree and pulled my pant legs up and left my thighs touch the ground. And the next day, I could feel so much more strength in my legs. We had lessons in health, we've had spiritual lessons. Uh, it's just been, it's just been an amazing time. And uh, in the cold sheet, I was, I was worried about that. And then we had a, a, a sermon on, or a lesson on relationships, and I thought, Oh wow, I'm glad I didn't have my cold sheet treatment yet. And, uh, so I had mine today. Uh, I was the last one. And it was a wonderful experience. It was a great experience. And uh, I want to thank Danny and all the staff and, and everybody here. Just thank you. And, uh, highly recommend this place. I had heard about Bella Vita about. Uh, four or five years ago, and I had this yearning to do a detox in my body because I know the lifestyle that I lived uh, prior to, um, you know, the condition my body was in. Um, I had had some serious health issues, and I, and I had reached a point where I felt toxic. I, I just shut down. I, I was going to school. I stopped school and said, I need to deal with me. So I had been praying to the Lord for healing. And finally, I got it here at Bella Vida. Uh, it's a very intense program, but it is a wonderful program. And what I liked most about it was the education. It was so much uh, education. We didn't just come here and take, you know, do the juicing and cleanse our bodies, which was great. You know, and it's great, but with that came the education uh, and how it related to God's health plan for for human beings. And 
I believe I was even chastised a little bit because it was not like I did not know. It was like I just wasn't being obedient. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, God allowed these things in my life to the point where I desired and told God, I, I need, you know, I need healing. Yeah, I came here with sinus issues. I can breathe through my nose now. I can uh, inhale fresh air deeper. Uh, we learned that a plant-based diet is the best diet in the world. Why? Because the plants have life. Matter of fact, if your body is not healthy, your spiritual life probably isn't either. You know, so the cleansing of the body along with the spiritual food that you get makes you whole, you know, and it makes you feel good. Um, and I was, I was so impressed. I started selling Bella Vita on the phone to people that I know uh, who are, have serious issues, health issues, and I know they can come here and get healing. Um, I have probably drank more water here than I have in my entire life uh, because the water is good. Everybody here had different issues and he and the staff were able to give us individual attention. Uh, we, we also do something called a, a cold sheet and that is, that is free. You may not even be aware of the emotions and the hurt and the pain, the sorrow, all these feelings that you harbor inside because for one reason or another you aren't able to talk about it or you're not even aware that it's there. And you're able to, uh, through the Holy Spirit, bring these things to the surface and, uh, and talk about them and get them out uh, so that God can, you can leave them there. You know? carry them back with you. So that's free. You, you almost feel like you're in the Garden of Eden, but more importantly, it was a jump start for me to uh, revitalize my spirituality and to uh, have some kind of direction uh, of changing my lifestyle. Will I go home and be able to do all of these things all at one time? Probably not, but it's okay because I have the material. Um, I have uh, a plan that I can follow. And more importantly, I have a better standard in my life to live up to. And it's all because of Jesus Christ. And it's also because of the obedience of, of Danny that um, bought this place to a reality from his relationship with the Lord, and, uh, and he does it well. I battled with depression for many years, and um, after being on more than probably 15 medications, I actually couldn't remember all of them, um, and having major side effects to them, I was tired of the pharmaceutical industry and tired of the worldly route. So I prayed, and through a series of events um, that God worked through, I was convicted to come here to Bella Vida. I've seen I uh, firsthand uh, the blessings of Danny's program and what it has done for someone who was very close to me, the healing that he had. And I felt like if he could do it for my father-in-law who had Parkinson's for 14 years, that there was probably something he could do for me. So um, I enrolled and I got into the program and it has been a huge blessing to be here. I can't even really put it into words. Um, the way God has worked through my roommate. And that's been a blessing to have her. And every single person that has been here was God sent because they each touched me in a very special way. And um, the healing has come in more than one way. The purging and the detoxing and the drinks, um, they're a blessing. I can feel the change in me. I can feel my head clearing up. And um, I'm anxious to take the knowledge I've learned about health and education and put it into my life and to help my husband and my kids. And um, But the spiritual aspect of it, I think, was 
even though I know that I need the health and that 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 is what I needed, that the spiritual blessing is what I needed as well, and I did receive that. There was a lot of things that I didn't know. That I mean, I've, I've been in the health message for a long time now, but there was just there's a lot of stuff I didn't know, and I was very blessed by the information and knowledge that Danny and Charmaine and the staff has shared with me, and it's been a huge blessing for me, and I look forward to going on with it and feeling better and never having to be on medication again. And um, I highly recommend coming here. Um, there's just blessings in every aspect of, of this program. I pray to my God and I work with my God and I've asked for a long time to give me a healing uh, from the things that I've done to myself and the things that have been done to me. Uh, and I'm not saying I was ever an innocent victim but uh, here I am, and I want to know how I can get healthy enough to serve my Lord. And uh, I have tried my own, and uh, not much success. I'm not a medical person, and I don't know a whole lot about health. So I came here because I want to, I want to be better. I want to be a better person. I want to uh, live better. Uh, I don't expect to repair all the damage that's been done, but I can live longer if I myself if I learn how to and I believe that uh, when I came here I was suffer suffering from COPD cardiopulmonary disease and it was very difficult for me to do any walking climb stairs uh, go from my vehicle to my office and back uh, if I did that a lot of times I'd have to uh, have a inhaler or a nebulizer treatment and uh, I've been here for uh, going nigh on a week, and uh, I've been walking two to four miles. My blood pressure has returned to normal of about a 75 to 114. When I came here, it was 161 over whatever it was. My blood sugar has dropped, and. Uh, has dropped considerably, it's within a normal range now, and this is without medication. I have not been taking blood pressure medication or diabetic medication. In fact, I haven't been taking any medication, and I feel so much better. Uh, it's, it's truly a miracle that's worked in my life, and I'm very grateful for it. I got something here that uh, oh, really really opened my eyes, which is an education on foodstuffs and how to treat your body. And what's being done in the world, the United States in particular today, and the handling of our food. And more than that, is the spiritual basis of this program, the biblical teachings, from where the health code, the ideas of what we should eat, how we should act, and what we should think, where it comes from. It comes from the Word of God. And what a privilege. What a privilege. Uh, the cleansing program was something more than I expected uh, because I got some things back, my certain cognizance that I had lost over time. And as you get old, you sort of lose, lose touch with things. Spatial differences, how far is something away? Can I come down the steps without watching the steps? And all these things improved so much for me. That's the cleansing process. Uh, which there's a few things about it that you say, you what? And then you say, well, you just go ahead and do them and you receive the benefits, real, real solid benefits. And that's a small part of this, because again, I say, this is a God for Christ-based program. And uh, the cold sheet treatment was most impressive, more impressive than I can vocalize. But I can say this, that inside the room where my friend Dan and I prayed and talked, there was also the presence of my friend who has been with me all the days of my life, who has pulled me through war in Vietnam, who has pulled me through horrible, horrible operations, 
horrible habits and addictions into a better life. He's called me all the days of my life. And I am here, and I'm still alive. He has a plan for me. He has something good for me to do. And I believe that. I believe that. I believe. I came here because I have stage four cancer. And they told me they heard about uh, Bella Vida, and it sounds really nice. They did a lot of research and so forth. I said, okay, well, I was thinking about the Gershon thing, but I'll try Bella Vida because it was local, which was so nice. Danny has a program here. He has a program, and it's a regimen. It's not like you're going to get here and just laze out, okay? <laughs> there are things for us to do here for our healing. And he has a program that's, and, and I also wanted something that was Bible-based, and it's truly Bible-based. And it was, it, it was what I need. I mean, because we cannot be healed without God. And God is in this program, guys. I mean, he is in this program. And I love him so much for that. Love is shown here. True love is shown in this place. And then all the people that came for other illnesses and so forth like that, no matter what it was, we all connected because we were on the same program with the same goal in mind, to leave here with instructions for a better life. The massage, the massage was just so wonderful. I mean, it's just, you know, just, and, and then talking to you all the time in scripture. Everything we do here, we start and end with prayer. We start and end with prayer. So you know you're on, on the right track for it, right? So it's just, that part is good. And then I had the, um, the Koshi treatment. The Koshi treatment for me was like a, a blanket of love. It was a blanket of love and it's like, when you have an illness that's been termed terminal, you want to know that you got that link in love. And it was extended, I mean, it's like when I was in the tub and, and the, the love in here and the instructions like for what you're getting ready to do, I mean, you didn't have to be alarmed about any part of the process because they explained it to you and then they did it in love. And then when they poured on the, the oils, and let you know what they were doing there. Just, you just felt special. I felt special. I felt, I felt real, real special. And then when you go into the room and you're, you're, you're having that private conversation, well, when the sheet was wrapped on me, that just, I, I told them that, I told Danny and Charmaine that, you know, if he took me now, I would be fine. I would be fine, you know, because I was resting in his arms. And I was resting in his arms, surrounded by such a, a cloud of witnesses that are, you know, just all on the same, all on the same level, you know, set, you know, and it was just, and the encouraging and the edification and the walks and the talks that I've had with each and every one of you guys, it's like, it's amazing. For me, I came for direction. What do I do after I leave here? I got instructions, I got my little package. I got, I, I know what I'm going to be doing for the next 30 days and I know what I, and I, I can call back and do checkups and do follow-ups. I have stage four cancer and I, I am going to report back, but I tell you I've lost some weight. I did four miles. I didn't think I'd do the four miles. I've had just such a wonderful time here and I, I just, it's, it's an experience that I think everybody should go through. I really do. I, I think everybody should go through it because it's, it's marvelous. My name is Eunice, and uh, I've been here because I, I have a problem with diabetic, uh, blood, high blood pressure, and Parkinson. And uh, for me, it has been a big privilege to be here. But I, I did have to learn that being here, the knowledge is not enough. If you don't practice what you learn, it's not going to work. If you don't have discipline, it's not going to work. That means now we have more responsibilities on our shoulders than when we came. Because now we have the knowledge to better ourselves. And the, we, we are the ones who have to make the decision and have the will. With God's help, to finish what we started. I have to say that here has been a special place, very special place, but it's been a special group that God has put up together because I'm so grateful that 
so many people together can do something so good that is not helping us only physically, spiritually, relationship. And this is a, a, a God-giving opportunity. That means I, I have to say today that I have the happy day because my blood pressure was normal, my sugar was normal, my diabetes was normal. That means what a better day for me to live. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm very happy about the, what I have tried to accomplish. And I think uh, we need to depend on God to help us to continue the, what we have learned. And thankful for what you have done and the caring that everybody of you have been here. They are very caring, very loving, and, and I thank God for that opportunity because you don't see that happen to any place else. That means I'm grateful to God for being here, and I'm grateful to my daughter that sent me here. <laughs> and uh, I, I just love you guys all of it, all of, the, all of you, because you have been special in any way, in every way. And I thank God for this opportunity. I came because um, I've had a thyroid nodule for the past seven years, and um, the doctors finally told me um, it looks cancerous. And so me, being the stubborn person I am, I said, no, you can't cut it out. Um, so I found, actually my husband did, found this program and sent me here. I knew it would be intense. I knew it would be um, revitalizing. I knew that it would heal my body. Um, but what I didn't didn't know would happen is I didn't know that my heart would be healed as well. Um, I just have been a very, very broken, wounded person. Um, I wasn't ready to even crack that open. And through this program and everything that was set up, um, God was able to, to work through um, Danny and the team here, and his wife, and, and show me um, really just how mess I was. So um, it makes sense why I've gotten so sick. So I was pumped and everything, um, looking for a healing, and um, God did more than that. Um, God totally just took all the hurt, pain I didn't even realize was there just swept it away and I feel uh, lighter I feel like no burdens just totally at peace <sighs> the cleanse the cold sheets the cold sheet was amazing I truly felt God in the room we were there and <sighs> unexplainable when I first came here to Bella Vida I um, had cracks all over my tongue it was just a mess and I've had it for two years so I asked the doctors, they said, oh, it's just old age, you know, just genetics and everything. But I thought, oh, no, no, there's something wrong going on in my body. So being here at Bella Vida, the cracks are almost totally healed. Like, I have a pink, healthy tongue, and my tongue was not looking cute for a while. Um, so it's, it's nice. It's, it's, it's like it's, I, it's proving that it's healing my body from the inside out. I was able to see clearly how a vegan diet can heal the body and how once you start healing yourself spiritually and depending on God, all these are possible. Before I came here, I was um, very distrusting of not just God, but everyone, especially God. I feel like He should have protected me throughout life. And, um, now I feel that I can totally depend on Him, that He is my Creator, He is my Father, my husband, everything. I have no doubt, no matter what circumstances come my way, I'm going to be just fine, just fine. So it's a beautiful peace that I have now, and I just would never go back, ever, ever, ever. Well, the reason that I came to Bella Vida is because I have hepatitis C, and when I first heard about this disease, I was very startled, and I realized <laughs> that it's something that probably occurred to me a lot of years ago, and through the process of anger at my job, and through difficulties that I've had dealing with other people in different situations, 
and not really learning how to live life on uh, a Christ-like uh, spiritual basis. Um, my liver, this disease came out in my body, and it attacked my liver. And so my liver swelled up to the point where I felt like I had gained so much weight, really. And um, the second, when I first got here, Danny started my cleanse instantly. And my kidneys immediately felt relief. There was, I had sharp pain in my kidneys, just a tight pain. And that pain went away almost instantly. And so uh, through that five-day cleanse process, uh, my liver felt like it got smaller. I mean, like half the size. So, and my kidneys right now are not hurting at all. And, um, you know, when I first got here also, I was very, I could just feel the tension in my body. And that's one thing, you know, they offer here is massage, massages. And the hydrotherapy was key to um, just getting that tension that's inside of me out. If I wasn't hungry through the whole uh, thing, which was amazing, because I love to eat, and um, um, it was, I feel like I'm 10 pounds lighter from the uh, chest down. So, you know, I really feel like it worked. And then, uh, second day into the fast, I felt like running. So, um, you know, Danny's lectures also was a big part of it. Character development. It's that's <clears throat> what we all need um, because we're preparing for the kingdom. So the spiritual part of it was, um, if it's more important to me, because if my body fades away. I have Christ. So, um, anyway, um, this has uh, started a tremendous healing um, in my body, in my mind, and um, in my soul. And so anyone out there that is considering this type of healing, uh, the Lord is here. And these are these are tears of joy, <laughs> tears of healing. So, um, one day the Lord will dry all these tears.